So today we're going to be learning how to zoom in or zoom out in Illustrator. The zoom tool is located right over there. It's one of the last ones of the tools. It's a very easy tool. You can use the shortcut Z or Z, however you say it. Obviously, when you zoom in or zoom out, you're not changing anything in the image. You're not making it bigger or smaller. You're just looking at it from closer or further. That's all you're doing. It's important if you're working in small details to work closely close up to the object or zoomed in because many people, especially ones that are starting, they work from so far away and then you have to try and see what you're doing there and it's very difficult and hard that's why you should always zoom in when you want to change any object or anything when you're working with a zoom tool you'll see this magnifying glass here you can just click once and you'll be zooming in every time you click you zoom in by defined predefined amounts if you press the alt or option key you'll see the small sign there changes to a minus not a plus anymore and you'll be zooming out with every click the cool thing is that you'll be zooming into wherever the cursor is so say i want to zoom into that boat so you can see it zooms right into the boat wherever the cursor is that's where it will zoom to you could also long press and it will do the same effect so you can see as I, I'm just holding down pressing and it just zooms in or without and press then it zooms out another thing instead of clicking and zooming in you can just drag to the right I'll zoom in or drag to the left and I'll zoom out you can see the icon there changes the further you drag the faster it will zoom in if it doesn't work for you, then it's probably because you're viewing it on the GPU. Then you should go to view and choose here preview on GPU. That'll show you, that'll work for you there. I'm not going to go over the differences now between the CPU and the GPU. I'm not so sure of it myself. But you can just generally, I think the GPU is the more powerful one. So if your computer is like getting stuck or any of that sort, if you choose the GPU, then you should go back to CPU. You can also change it and uh, edit preferences or in a Mac will be under Illustrator. Preferences and performances or performance. You can choose here if to use the GPU performance or not. And, and uh, here you would have this option, animated zoom. So even if you're using GPU, then you can still uncheck this and you wouldn't have that option of dragging to the right or to the left to zoom in or zoom out otherwise if you're working with cpu then you would see when you drag you're creating this marquee and you can zoom in like that so let me just zoom out a bit as i drag then i create this square i hope you can see it there and that zooms in with it the smaller the square will be the closer you would be zooming in so set your this size zoom that will go right onto it you can also alt and create a square holding alt that will zoom out so now i'm zoomed out you can zoom out even more just by holding down alt to option and creating this square marquee you could also whenever you're working with any tool actually it doesn't have to be the zoom tool then you can right click and choose here zoom in or zoom out so that will also do the same thing as clicking once with the zoom tool honestly i don't really use so much a zoom tool my favorite one is holding down the alt or option key and just scrolling with the mouse either in or out then you can zoom in very smoothly and quickly like that and it zooms right to the place where my cursor is so say my cursor is right on that point then i can zoom in just by scrolling with on the mouse and holding down the alt or option key you could also zoom in and out holding down the control or command and the plus or minus keys now also zoom in or zoom out but that option won't zoom into where my cursor is it just zooms in generally so i can zoom in it just zooms to the center of the screen or let me just show it on this picture even if my cursor is like right on the side there will still zoom right into the center of the picture and like if i'm doing with the alt or option and scrolling in then that will get straight to where my cursor is also if you want to temporarily access the zoom tool 
instead of going there each time so in any tool where you are let's say you're working with a pen tool then you can press control or command and the space bar you can see that icon changes to zoom then you can either drag right or left or otherwise just do a marquee depends if you're using the cpu or gpu like we said before or to zoom out you can do control command out and the space bar and then you'll see it changes to a minus so that's with the out option and without the out you could also go to view and choose zoom in or zoom out from there that's also the same thing and it zooms out or in from the center of the object there is another with the artboard sorry there is another option to zoom in you see right down there I hope you can see it there you can see the percentage that's our zoom percentage so you can choose from here any of these options you can go for a hundred percent or any of these here you could also type it in so I can just type in the number and I'm just pressing actually the arrows up or down that's quicker for me or with shift and the arrows up or down that also zooms by 10% increments at a time and another way to zoom in is from the navigator panel wherever it may be there you go so you have here also options of zooming in or zooming out with these two icons you can press this one there and this one there to zoom in or you can choose anywhere from here or you can just type it in there just as well you could also hold down control or command on this navigator screen and then drag a marquee to where you would want to zoom into we learned all about the navigator panel in depth so you can check it out there so i think we basically got through all the zoom options if you want to see your whole artboard inside so you want to get the artboard as big as possible then you can press the shortcut control or command zero and that will bring the whole artboard as big as possible in your screen so that you fit the whole thing in. If you've got a few artboards and you want to see all of them, so let me just duplicate this one. Okay, so you're working with a few artboards and you want to be able to see all of them, then you can press the shortcut control or command alt or option on a Mac and zero then you'll be able to see all the artboards would fit right into your screen you could also double click on the hand tool right there if you want to view the artboard in a full screen so you can see the artboard fills my whole screen there if you want to see the actual size of the image so I'm not sure what size this image is then you can press control or command one that will give you the hundred percent size of the image Obviously you can't rely on it exactly because if you're viewing it on a huge screen so the 100% display will look differently to a small screen but you could I think get the overall idea of how big it will be. You can see the percentage of the zoom right there. You could also double click on the zoom tool that will also make it on 100% and so just zoom you in and then double click that will bring it in a 100% view. Or if you're ready on the zoom tool, then you can just press on the enter key and they'll also make it 100%. Wow, that was a lot of zoom options there. Did you count how many there were? If you know how many options you set it, then you can leave it in the comments below. Also, you can let me know which one is your favorite one out of all these choices. So if you know of any other option, or if you have any other questions, comments, ideas, or just anything you want to say or add, then feel free to leave it at the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you gained anything, please give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.